guys. Uh, I guess you guys have been asking yourself, well, where have I been? I haven't put up any videos lately. Um, as you can tell by the title name, I've been in the hospital. I've been in the ER, and then I was admitted in the hospital. Um, let me tell you. Let me tell you what what went down. What happened? Uh, Monday, the 27th, I started feeling a little pain in my lower abdomen. Um, it wasn't that bad. It was in the morning, but then it kind of went to my lower back. Well, then, you know what? I immediately knew what it was. It was kidney stones. Um, I've had kidney stones in the past, one other time. So I knew that pain, uh, and I knew what the problem was. So we went up to AU, Angeles University Foundation Hospital, um, and went into the emergency room there. Uh, told them, listen, I'm having pain. I know it's kidney stones. So they wrote me a little, I don't know what it would be, like a little receipt, said, hey, go upstairs and uh, see one of the doctors up there. And I, I told him, no, I said, listen, I don't have a tummy ache. I don't have a little bang on my finger. I said, I, I know it's kidney stones and um, I've had them in the past. They said, do you want to be treated here in the emergency room? And I said, yes. So they took me back, uh, put me on like a little bed, with a little curtain they drew and I'm sitting in there waiting and all of a sudden the curtain opened up and there was about eight doctors well I don't know if they were all doctors but they were all wearing the doctors you know the doctors uh, type clothing and um, one lady uh, where does it hurt I said no it hurts in my stomach hurts in my back uh, had me lay down on the bed, move my leg around, move my arm around. Does it hurt here? Does it hurt there when I do this? Do I do that? I said, no, no, no. Okay, so she walked out and two others walked out with her. Um, and then the next lady, I think she took my blood pressure, took my vitals. Um, she said, we're going to draw blood, do some blood sampling. I said, okay. So she walked out and then a couple of people walked out with her. And then the last doctor, um, he, he's, he said, you know, it sounds like kidney stones, but we want to make sure that it's not a gallbladder. We want to make sure it's nothing else but kidney stones. You know, I said, sure, I agree. Um, and then they wanted, to do, wanted me to go up to do a scan. And uh, they said, drink lots of water, drink lots of water, fill your bladder up. I said, okay. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, nurse came in, took my blood and everything like that. Um, now you got to understand something at a hospital here when they say drink plenty of water They're not going to bring you water. You have to supply your own water so Ludie she went out uh, onto the street went into I guess like a 7-eleven or one of them little stores there Came back with some water and I started drinking it uh, Meanwhile, I'd say a good 45 minutes had passed and they said we got the results from your urine test and your blood work and We feel it's your kidneys I said, well, yes, I know. Uh, they gave me two scripts. I think one was for to keep an infections out, and one was for pain. So I took them. Um, the hospitals here, you got to pay them up front. You got to pay them up front your bill. They won't let you leave. So um, I paid that bill up front. That bill came to. Oh, let me see here. I think it was right around. Hang on, I got the paper here. That bill came to 6,347 pesos. Um, I, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll just put everything up as far as you know the prices and what it came to. So I came home, took the medication, started feeling somewhat better. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday was when we went down to uh, Manila. The 28th, we went down to Manila for my uh, 13A interview. I was feeling okay, I didn't feel the pain. Uh, came home that night, took some more medication. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I really didn't feel the pain. I thought, okay, maybe I passed these kidney stones. But uh, that, that, that wasn't the case. Uh, Friday night, the pain came on and it hurt so bad. Uh, the pain, imagine being punched in the kidneys nonstop. Just non-stop. That's what the pain's like. Um, women have had kidney stones and have given childbirth. Said so they will take childbirth over kidney stones any day. So anyways, Friday night, one, two o'clock in the morning, 
went down to Clark, was it Clark, uh, Clark, Clark Hospital, uh, the Medical City Clark, uh, right there on the old base. Went into the emergency room, told them what was going on, they took me back, they drew blood, uh, took a urine sample, uh, gave me medication, ran an IV, put me on a drip. I was in there till 8 o'clock or so the next morning. Uh, they recommended, listen, we recommend that you you be admitted. And I, I said, listen, uh, I want to go home, make sure my insurance covers it. I want to set everything up. So I left the emergency room, came home, checked my insurance, make sure everything was covered, got a verification code, went back to the hospital, and admitted uh, myself into the hospital. Um, great, great hospital, great nurses, good doctors. Um, but yeah, it, that, that hospital there is... It's only a few years old. So when you're in that hospital, it almost seems like a hospital from back in the States. Everything, the rooms are nice. Uh, our room had a little bed in it, excuse me, a little single bed, uh, another seating bench with a little mattress on it for a visitor if they wanted to stay overnight, uh, TV, nice little bathroom, shower, you know, toilet, sink, just a nice little room. Um, so yeah, I was in there, let's see, Friday night. Uh, yes, Friday night, Saturday night, and then checked out Sunday. So I was in there two nights. Um, like I said, you know, the doctors were great. Um, they had me on, like I said, a you know saline solution drip. They had me on antibiotics to keep any infections out. Um, they were giving me medication to help shrink the stones. Um, yeah, they were great. Uh, here I found out, I, I, they did a scan on me. I found out I had three stones. Um, not big enough to operate on, not big enough to do like a laser on them, to break them up or dissolve them, but um, big enough to where, guess what, they, they caused a lot of pain. Um, so anyways, once again, it was one of those deals where, you know, I had given them my codes uh, for guaranteed payment. Uh, they weren't actually going to let me go. Uh, I had to raise a little bit of, of a ruckus you know, this, you know, hey, I, you know, you guys got the code, you know, you're going to get paid because that's the thing. They want to get paid. And here, if you don't have the money, like I said, they're not going to let you leave the hospital. Um, you need a slip that you have to show the guard at the, at the front door to allow you out. Uh, if you don't have that slip, he won't allow you out. So that, that means you got to sit there three or four days, a week, two weeks until you can get the money. You'll sit there and you'll wait. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, overall it was a good experience. Um, like I said, a matter of fact, I picked up a, um, another doctor that I'm going to see here soon. Uh, they actually want me to go back in a couple weeks to see them, um, to make sure everything's okay. They want to do another scan on me and make sure the stones have passed. Um, like I said, my stones weren't very big, big enough to cause pain. I actually had three of them, if I didn't mention that, three stones. Um, the medication they gave me now is for pain, uh, anti-infection, uh, medication to relax any of uh, the muscles in my body where the stones are going to have to pass through. Um, but yeah, like I said, and then like Monday, Tuesday, you know, I, I, I just, you know, your body has to recover. So Monday, Tuesday, that's what I pretty much did, uh, recovered, you know. Uh, Took it easy, drank lots and lots and lots of water. I'm still drinking lots and lots and lots of water. Um, but they said it should pass, you know, within you know two to three weeks. So yeah, that that's uh, that's pretty much what's been going on, guys. Uh, but uh, anyways, I didn't forget about you guys. You know, it, you know, medical emergencies come up, and my health is more important. Um, but yeah. We got Holy Week coming up here next week. That will be the 9th through the 15th. I plan to do a lot of video on it. Uh, that's something really cool, something neat to see here. Um, but yeah, that's coming up. So the whole week there, I'll be you know busy videotaping, putting that up online. Um, but yeah, uh, life moves on here, and uh, we move on. And uh, cross my fingers. <laughs> 
no more kidney stones um, but anyways uh, that's about it and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe if uh, you want to give me some likes dislikes like I said it's always your choice leave some comments I'll do my best to get back and uh, we'll talk to you guys later